Right, well today I'm on the premises of Optimal Currency. This is the FX firm I've used for a long time. I'm going to introduce you to the CEO. That's Mr. David Worthington. Hi, well, Daryl. How are you? Uh, steady, David. Steady. Good nice to see, to see you. you today. Thank you for coming into the office. Really Pleasure. I appreciate you coming down. Pleasure. Now, what uh, I'd like you to do today is, it's a general question and answer sort of thing. Why should customers use an FX firm as opposed to a bank? Yeah, absolutely. Well, as you know, Daryl, um, we've worked together for nearly 15 years now. Yep, 15, yep. Probably hundreds of customers have either bought properties up in Normandy or sold them and come back to the UK. In fact, some have gone further afield over to Australia and um, America from uh, direct from France. And the ultimate reason that people use us rather than the bank is that they're going to get their currency cheaper. They're going to pay less for their euros or get more euros for their pounds um, if that's the way they're going. Um, and secondly to that, they're going to get a much better service than using their bank. Um, most people, when they either go into the bank or call up the bank, they don't get to speak to an expert. They certainly don't get to speak to the same person twice. Whereas if you call up Optimal Currency, you'll speak directly to your account manager. who you know who you are, what you're doing, and they'll get you sorted out straight away. That's that's fair comment. Now, tell, tell my clients about fixing rates and, and, and that sort of thing. Or if they're waiting for a certain level of rate, Absolutely. what can you offer them? Absolutely. So um, obviously, currency markets are really volatile. They move up and down all the time. Um, and buying a property is, in respect, a long three-month process where that's going to change throughout the entire, uh, you know, every day, every week, every month. They're going to be a different exchange rate. So one of the common things that we say to customers, particularly in the example of a, a Brit by coming over to Normandy and buying a house, if they were buying a holiday home in, say, Cornwall, there's no way they'd actually sign the contract to buy that property if they didn't know what it was going to cost them. Effectively, when you do that in France, you say I'll pay 150,000 euros, but you don't know what that costs you until you agree the exchange rate. To be honest, that's that's your notaire would insist on on the contract being in euros. There's a few legal implications mm. on that. You can't have a um, a contract yeah, to buy a property in it's pounds. In France. It's yeah. in France. So until you know what the, that that pound value is, your your cost to you as a person changes every day. So one of the solutions that we offer as a fully independent and regulated broker which you won't be able to get through your bank, is something called a forward contract. And that's the ability for you to fix the rate of exchange now, compared to today's exchange rate, for up to two years into the future. So your property that completes in three months, you can say, right, well, I'll fix my exchange rate for three, maybe four months, give yourself some breathing room in case there's a delay. But knowing today what the house is gonna cost you. Um, now, the way that works is, um, for a deposit, you would use something called a spot contract, which is where you'd say, right, I want 10,000 euros, I'll get today's rate of exchange, and I'll pay for it in full. That comes in and goes out today, done on the spot. And that's, that's called a spot contract. That's a spot contract, that's yep. the quickest and easiest way to get some euros uh, over to France. For that balance, which is completing in three, four months' time, you use a forward contract. You can still know today what it's gonna cost you, fix the rate today, know the total price, but rather than paying in full, you lodge a deposit, normally called a margin, and that's typically 10%. So simple maths, it was £100,000 you were exchanging. You know the rate of exchange, you send £10,000 today, and then in three months when your house completes, you send the other £90,000 or 90% in, that completes the euro purchase, and we send those euros over to the notary for you at that period rate exchange rate. That's fine. I must admit, uh, I've used I've used David for about the last fifteen years. Um, getting getting the best rate for your money is critical. Mm -hmm. If you're a buyer, it, that extra <coughs> extra bit of money coming in might be a new kitchen or money towards a new septic tank and that sort of thing. And for a seller, it's giving you more pounds for your euros so that when you go back to the UK yeah. you, you, you can look at properties a little bit more expensive it helps cover legal costs and that sort of thing Absolutely. so it's a better I, the thing that I always say Daryl is there's, there's no point in putting extra money that's yours in your bank's pocket that's by, fair by using a commercial broker you're getting the best rates available on the market at that day if you just go through your French bank your English bank they will add in a wider margin on their exchange rates that's just their profit margin. Yeah, that's, that's fair um, common. You've so, got a keener rate. Yeah, why pay the bank for something um, when you don't need to? That's what I always think. And, and another thing on getting, if you're selling in France and moving back to the UK, it's not as easy as you think. If, if you want to use your own local bank in France, when the funds yeah. actually get into France, 
and they're with Cruddy Agricola or whoever they go with, it's, you might need an appointment to go and authorise them to, to send the money back. Absolutely. We, we've, had, we've had all sorts over the years. We, we had one just a couple of months ago, in fact, where um, they were quite an elderly couple. The motor had sent the money through to their, I think it was a bank postal account in, in that particular circumstance. Um, and they just refused to send the money without the clients being physically present. And they were already back here in the UK. So that meant people in their 80s travelling back to France. That to arrange doesn't transfer. surprise me. I, I, you know, That's the last thing you want when you're completing and you're moving back. Stress, weeks in time, and yeah, just not a good situation. So what we will do for our customers is we will actually set up a unique Euro account for our clients. So that means, Daryl, if you were an account holder of ours, your account is in the name Mr. Daryl Miles. You've got your own Euro account, so that when the notaire completes your property, they're sending those funds to Daryl Miles' Euro account. It happens to be with optimal currency. That'll clear typically within 24 to 48 hours of the notaire pushing the button. Um, again, we've worked with the same notaire for a number yep. of years, but yep. we, we, we know most of the notaires in France yep, uh, do, do British business. Um, we're very happy to liaise with them, so we'll get on the phone to the account at the notaire's office, make sure it's all sorted, provide the correct AML documents that are needed, um, which is of course one of the big big things in the modern world, um, and, and smooth that process, which is something you just don't get with the bank. Um, then when your euros uh, arrive, you're immediately alerted by our system. As soon as any funds touch that account, you'll get an email saying your euros are here, and then one of the team will be on the phone to discuss what you want to do with those funds. Yeah, it's all part of the service. Yeah, exactly. Makes, so, a, makes, a, makes a big difference. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, right. Well, thanks for that, David. Nice to Brilliant. see you. I'll let you crack on. Cheers, Darren. Thanks a lot. Thank Bye. You.